Can you see me? Pitch me. Can you see me? Pitch me rolling. <laughs> Can you see me clearly? Can you see me clearly? All right, right now, we want to bring on heavyweight fighter, man. Cleveland's own Cody Gregory. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ain't that something, man? There. When you can like a brother's spirit, but he'll knock your ass. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Corey? What's up, baby? Hey, man, you know, it just intrigues me. I, I love fighters, man, because you got to have a heart to do what you want to do. You ain't, ain't for play. No, it ain't. You got to have a job, man. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta have a job. That's true. That's true. You got you got to have a chin. If you ain't got no chin, right? ain't no ain't no sister boxer. Right. Ain't right. no sister boxer. Ain't no sister getting in that ring talking about how slick you is. Cause one shot. <laughs> let let me get into the mindset. Cause I say it takes something to want to be a warrior. And in your in your mind, you got to call it. We'll get to it. Uh, in, in your mind, what's what's going through the thought process when you go into a fight? Well, with me, man, I get real nervous. Every, you know what I'm saying? I, I get I get real I get real nervous. You know what I'm saying? My quarter That's man. Good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I be I be walking around the hotel rooms. <laughs> I'm serious. Right. My, my, my quarter man. My quarter man, Jesse Harris. He over there. He he'll leave out. He, <laughs> he, he'll leave out the room. Man, I'll be pissed around now. What that. helps to ease your nerves and get you into fight mode? Is there a routine? Is there something that actually happens? What What I do, I start loosening up. When I, you know, I, the coach would come in, we, you know, he's like, well, you the next bout or two bouts. Like if I'm the last bout, like the fourth bout, I start loosening up, jumping jacks, shut and building a sweat and like jumping rope, mm -hmm. hitting the mitts. Then once I walk in there, I mean, I'm still nervous, but after that first hit, it's, right. it's, it's time, it's time yeah. to work. Yeah. Let, let me nah. ask you, I, I believe we all can deal with the jubilation of a win, mm -hmm. but when there's a loss, how do you recoup and come back and go to another fight? I mean, man, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I did, when I first, because I only had five amateur fights, I told my trainer, I said, man, we, we got to cut this amateur. I can't. I'd rather go in the pros and get the job training. And and when I did go to the pros, man, I was doing good at first. Then I got lazy, man. You know what I'm saying? I got real lazy. I, I mean, I trained, but not like I was supposed to. And get in there, lie, gag, went throw no punches, dude, tag me, you know. You looking for the knockout blow. Yeah. That's the, and, and it will not go work. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to work. Cause you could get hurt in there. Cause now you're not. I'm not taking it serious. I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. Right. So now that's when you got the losses that you got. Right. Then I just woke up one day. I said, you know what? No more. So I started training hard. You know, doing what I'm supposed to do. Things starting to turn around. So, hey, you live. Hey, that's hard, what's man. up. I got my man Corey Gregory right here, the knockout artist, KOB. <laughs> And I'm a bouncer too when I ain't boxing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, I done had all type of people, man. You know, bodyguard for them when they come in the, when they come in the clubs. You know, they they come right to me, man. I you know pay you this. I just want you to watch me all night. You right. know, walk me to my car. Right. That's man, that's what I do. Right, right. You right. know what I'm saying? This is what I do. But the thing is, you still carry yourself like a professional. Right. It ain't it ain't cause you box or cause you come out the streets, you tough. No, because ain't ain't nobody really tough, man. You right. know what I'm saying? It, you right. just it's just a profession what I do. It's like when I play ball. It's a sport, man. That's all it is. Well, so, well, yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let, let, let me ask you this. Heavyweight, right? Yeah, heavyweight. Now, we all know who sit atop those those rankings, you know. Lennox Lewis is the, not Mike anymore, but, you know, who else? Y'all help me out. Roy Jones. Yeah, Chuck B. Yeah, Chuck B. <laughs> now, 
Now, when you talk when you talk like that, and you know they sit up atop those rankings, and do you visualize seeing yourself one day meeting one of those guys? And if you do, you know, are you proactive in your thoughts? Like, yeah, I'm, you know, I can get him. Or how, how does oh, that yeah, go? Yeah, I mean, it's just like anything, man. You you reach a certain in your head or goal, you go after. It. And once and once you get up there, hey man, it ain't no stop. You came too far to turn back. Right. You know what I'm saying? The hit man just like you is. So the best man gonna win. But I'm coming to win. If I if I done made it that far, it's wrong. Now you got somebody in your footsteps, seven years old, wanna go that route. What would you have to say to him? I tell him, you know, stay stay focused and stay positive. And don't and never give up. I don't care. With man, I've been through so much stuff in the ring and out the ring. You know, a lot of people, man, you need to quit boxing. You need to stop doing it. Yeah, okay. No, keep doing what you do. 